This is one of multiple videos showing you the integration between GNS3 and Paper Trail. In a previous video, which I've linked below, I showed you how to integrate GNS3 with Paper Trail and how to get messages that show on the console of your GNS3 router into Paper Trail. So as an example, I'll now shut to this interface and that kind of information is now shown in Paper Trail. In this video, I'm gonna show you an integration between Paper Trail and Slack. Slack is a very popular messaging system and I'm assuming at this point that you know a bit about Slack. If you don't, just have a read about what Slack is. It's a very powerful way to chat and send messages and has become very popular. So Paper Trail can send chat messages to a Slack room. This link shows you how to do a new integration between Slack and Paper Trail. In this example, I wanna post Paper Trail messages to my Paper Trail Slack channel. This is a Slack channel that I've created in Slack. If that doesn't exist, you could create a new channel. So I'm gonna add the Paper Trail integration. That integration has now been done. In Paper Trail, what you need to do is do a search for something. So in my example, I'm gonna search for up, down. So I'm only looking for events when interface goes down or comes up. And then I'm gonna save that search as up, down, to. This is shown on the Paper Trail documentation. So what I've done now is save the search, but I'm gonna create an alert. So I'm gonna create an alert for Slack, and I'm gonna set the frequency in this example to one minute. I need to specify the web URL, which is this one here. So HTTP, S hooks slack and the number that I was given. I'm gonna create the alert. So I've been told that those alerts will be sent every minute to my Slack channel. So here's my Slack channel. I already tested this previously and had messages from a different paper trail account. But now let's test this new one that I've just created. So I'll go back to my dashboard for my GNS3 device. What I'll do now is shut an interface down. This interface has gone down, that's shown in Paper Trail. And in Slack, you can see that up, down, two now shows that an interface went down as per this information here. Now it's probably a good idea that I get my timestamps working this router is using UK time, whereas Paper Trail is using a different time zone. So I could change those settings within Paper Trail. So let's get our times right, and I'll set it to a London time, and update my preferences, go back to my dashboard, look at my GNS3 device. I'll no shut the interface, Interface has come up on GNS3. It's now showing up in Paper Trail. The time looks good. I've just got a notification from Slack that something's happened. I can now see that the interface has come up. Clicking on this link in Slack takes me to that search in Paper Trail where I can see what's happening. So I'll shut this down. Interface has gone down in Paper Trail. Back in Slack, it's shown as down. But at this point, I've been able to get syslog messages from a router into an online syslog server and into Slack. Now the events are only being sent every minute, so I might have to wait a bit for the message to appear in Slack but I have been able to successfully integrate Paper Trail with Slack. 
There's the message that's just arrived. The interface has now come up. Once again, the time is now correct in Slack. You can see that I'm recording this late in the evening in the UK. Notice this exact timestamp is shown in Slack and in Paper Trail. So that was an example of how to integrate Slack with Paper Trail and GNS3. Syslog messages are being sent from GNS3 to Paper Trail and notifications are being forwarded to Slack. Paper Trail makes the integration and setup of Syslog very, very easy. I hope you found this video useful. If it's been of benefit to you, please like it and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I wish you all the very best.